Josh, thank you so much for being with us. You have a new column out today that deals specifically with the Biden administration, Congress, and the WHO. But first, let me just ask you to react to Kylie's reporting on shutting down this Pompeo-led State Department investigation. Was that a real, legit investigation? What's your take? Yeah, uh, great reporting by Kylie here. Uh, this was a project that I did know about that was going on inside the State Department, one of many, actually. And that was that's what was going on inside the Trump administration. They had lots of different investigations that weren't all necessarily coordinated. And that's why they didn't last. That's why the Biden people were rightly skeptical of them, because they weren't all done in a comprehensive uh, way. But she's absolutely right. This was looking into the bioweapons aspect of this, not to say that the coronavirus mm -hmm. was a bioweapon, just to say that, hey, China has a bioweapons program. And hey, doesn't it work with viruses? And hey, maybe we should take a look at that, considering that a virus pandemic originated next to the Chinese labs. That's all. Separately, you have a column out this morning that I think everyone really needs to read because it lays out the case uh, in, in great detail about what the Biden administration is saying it's doing, what it's really doing, and what it could do in terms of investigating the lab leak theory. The Biden administration says it wants an investigation but thinks the WHO should handle it. Why isn't that enough? Right. Well, if the Biden administration doesn't like what the Pompeo and Trump team was doing, OK, that's fine. Uh, but if they're really serious about getting to the bottom of how we got into this pandemic, how 7 billion people were made to suffer by this virus, well, then it stands to reason that they shouldn't pawn off the, the investigation to the WHO, in my view, especially because the WHO wasted a year uh, fumbling the investigation and then dismissing the lab leak theory and then hiring the best friends of the lab to investigate the lab who went to the lab for a couple of hours and said, we don't have to investigate the lab case closed and shut up if you want to look at the lab. So the, after a year of that failure for the Biden administration to then just say, oh, well, I guess we really need the WHO to figure it out, to my mind, is a cop out. And, you know, that's not to say that the Biden administration isn't looking into it as well. They have tasked, the White House has tasked the, the intelligence community to try to figure it out. But again, the U.S. intelligence community doesn't know. It's not that they right. believe one or the other. They just don't know. So what I say, and what a lot of people on Capitol Hill are increasingly saying, is that, no, we have to have a real investigation that has to be led by the United States government that has to look into the American collaborators with the Wuhan labs. And that means turning over some rocks in our own system right. to figure out what was going on. And that's difficult. And then we have to press the Chinese you government. Are, just to be clear, there, you know, if we're not going to get answers from the Chinese and you say we should press the Chinese government, there is some data you think that is available here in the United States. The Congress, Republicans in Congress, largely have been going after, but the Biden administration hasn't been so forthcoming. In. What exactly is here available in the United States that would help this investigation? Well, that's right. And it's not just the NIH and Anthony Fauci, although that is one small piece of it. A lot of people get over-concerned with the Fauci part of this. What I'm saying is that the Wuhan labs, uh, especially the Wuhan Institute of Virology, was doing work with USAID, the uh, Eco Health Alliance, they had contracts from the Defense Department, the Homeland Security P Department, the National Science Foundation, et cetera, et cetera. Hundreds of, tens of millions of dollars worth of co contracts to work with risky viruses and see what's what. And all of those documents should, could tell us something about what the Wuhan labs might have been working on. That's not to say that we funded the research that caused the pandemic. It means that we know a lot about these labs that we're not saying, that, that the administration hasn't revealed. And also, all of that intelligence that went into that January 15th statement, which said that the labs had some sick researchers. The Wall Street Journal reported that those sick researchers went to the hospital in November 2019. There's a whole body of intelligence that the Biden administration is sitting on that the State Department has in its files that they won't reveal for some reason. And I think what you're seeing is increasing calls, mostly Republicans now, but starting to be Democrats too, uh, including on the bill that's going through the Senate right now, for the State Department and the administration to release all of that information so that we can see what's what, so we can see how much we actually know about the, the help that we were giving these Wuhan labs. And maybe they, we didn't fund the virus, but maybe they took that help and then they used it in the other side of the lab to do some stuff we don't know about. That's what the Trump administration alleged, and that's what the Biden administration confirmed. So all I'm saying is we should check that out. We need to check that out in order to do our best to try to figure out how this virus started so we can pre predict, mm -hmm. prevent the next one. And, you know, save the next round of three, 300, 3 million lives. Check out and investigate the information that is here and is available. Josh Roman, thanks so much for being with us this morning. It's a terrific Thank you. column. Just ahead, actor.